Hi, I'm Brian Mallow. Are you like me? Every day I have new questions about the COVID-19 outbreak and how to respond to it, how to feel about it. There's so many conflicting stories and rumors. So I've partnered with Sigma Xi, the Scientific Research Honor Society, to conduct a series of interviews so that I can ask experts and get up-to-date, research-based answers to my questions. I'll be presenting long interviews as well as short excerpts as fast as I can get them out to you. You can find the videos on my own social media channels, Science Comedian, as well as those of Sigma Xi. Thank you. If you're a pet owner, or had any interaction with your neighbor's dogs, as I have, you may have wondered if our pets can carry the new coronavirus. I spoke with Dr. Barbara Sherry. She's a professor of virology and the department head in molecular biomedical sciences at North Carolina State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. And I asked her if this is something we should be concerned about. Do we know anything about their ability to carry it? Is it there a chance that if one of us has it, that it could be transmitted to someone uh, via a dog? Even if they can't like carry the virus, are they not a surface that the virus could exist on? They, they can be a surface. So your pets, there's no evidence that pets are infected. There's no evidence that pets show symptoms. Your pets are safe from you and you are safe from the pets in your house. But an if an infected person coughs on their pet and then you pet that pet, you've just contaminated yourself just like it was a handrail, right? I mean, it's the same idea. So it's a good idea if there's an infected individual for them to keep away from their pets, just like they would keep away from their other family members. They are just gonna isolate themselves from their pet. Uh, when you ask me about, well, what about pets touching pets? We're just talking about lower and lower risk here. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry about it until there's someone in your neighborhood who has a clear infection and then I would, I would be concerned about touching their pet just because I, I would be worried about touching their doorknob. I wonder, so if I cough on a surface and maybe that surface is a dog or a handrail, um, I'm gonna maybe, and if I'm infected, I might put a lot of virus particles there. Whereas if I just touch it, maybe I only put less. How important is the amount of virus? Like if I get exposed to just a tiny, a few numbers of viruses, does that mean it's much less likely to take hold? Or like, what can you say about that? It's all probability. So the more virus you're exposed to, the more likely it is that you will be infected. And so that's why I talk about risk. And I talk about what is the likelihood that you're gonna touch exactly that part of someone's pet that they coughed on. It's very unlikely. So it's true that the, the easiest way for this virus to be transmitted is somebody coughing on you. That is the highest risk there is. Okay. Do you, with what you know about viruses and zoonotic viruses, how do you fear that um, it could make the jump into dogs or cats or like, it doesn't seem like we've heard about those specific animals with these previous viruses, but can it mutate and then dogs or cats be, or turtles be carriers? We can never predict what it's going to mutate to next. We haven't seen that happen with other coronaviruses. So I'm not saying it can't happen, but we have not seen it. Some people have said, well, you're not testing pets, so how do you know? Well, they did test a lot of pets for the SARS virus and for the MERS virus, and they never saw it going into pets. So we can't say never. We always talk about there is no evidence that, there's no evidence that this is likely to happen. So we can still snuggle our pets. Snuggle your pets if you're not coughing and sneezing and have a fever. Uh, I shouldn't have said sneezing. Sneezing is not really a, a symptom here. Coughing, fever, shortness of breath. If you have those symptoms, please don't snuggle with your pet because you might contaminate your pet and then they could 
as a contaminated surface lead to infection of someone else in your household. 